Do you have slime stuck in your carpet? Deep breaths, deep breaths, it's gonna be okay. In this video, I'm gonna show you the simplest and easiest way to get slime out of your carpet. And it's actually a lot easier than you think. It doesn't require any special chemicals or even any special tools. You can do this. Before we get talking about removing slime, let's just review what slime is. Slime is a mixture of four simple ingredients. The first ingredient is school glue. Just like Elmer's school glue or something similar, the good news about school glue is it is washable, which means it does dissolve in water. The second ingredient is borax. Sometimes contact solution can be used instead of borax, but it's a similar chemical component. Next up is food dye. Now food dye is the ingredient that might cause us some problems because it can stain carpet. And if it does stain your carpet, we'll talk a little bit more about how you can deal with that at the end of this video. And the final ingredient is water. Some slime has a little bit more water in it than others, so it might be thicker or thinner. The thicker type tends to really crust up on the carpet and seem impossible to remove, but it's actually not that hard, so bear with me. I've seen all kinds of crazy recommendations for how to remove slime. There's a lot of them you really should stay away from. The first one I've seen recommended a lot is shampoo or laundry detergent or some other kind of household soap. While those aren't gonna damage your carpet, they do cause a lot of sudsing and removing all those bubbles can be really difficult and it's just not necessary. I've also seen some physical removal strategies like scraping it with a fork. Those sorts of things could really damage your carpet fibers as you're ripping it apart. Again, not necessary. What, another thing that I've seen is rubbing alcohol. You really should stay away from using rubbing alcohol on your carpet because it can break down the glues in the carpet and it can really damage the construction of your carpet. So don't use rubbing alcohol. So what does work to dissolve slime in carpet? I ran a little bit of a test to see which things were best to use. Vinegar is something that's often recommended to dissolve slime and it's, it won't damage your carpet, but also hot water can work. So I did a quick comparison of which thing worked better. I compared vinegar, hot water, and cold water. I put a large amount of each liquid in with the slime. I had tried it with a little bit less liquid, but I found it actually takes quite a bit of liquid to get thicker slime to dissolve. As you can see, the vinegar and the hot water both dissolved the slime pretty well. The cold water really didn't dissolve the slime. It stayed in one big chunk in there. It seemed to be sort of a tie between the vinegar and the hot water, but hot water is just simpler to use than vinegar, so why not? Now the hot water I used in the demonstration was in a kettle, but it was not boiling hot. It was just like very hot shower water. You wanna be careful with hot things on your carpet because especially if it's made of polyester, it can actually melt. And I had seen some people recommend using an iron to get sl slime out. You really would need to be cautious if you did something like that. I would stick with water that's warm enough that it's not going to scald a person. So there are two things you need to be aware of when you're using hot water to remove slime from carpet. The first is the food coloring might still be dyeing the carpet a color. And we'll talk more about that later. The second thing is, if you're using a large amount of water to get the slime out of your carpet, and it may take a lot to dissolve it, you need to be careful about getting the water back out of the carpet. If you leave too much water in your carpet and you don't get it dry quickly, it can mold underneath your carpet, and that's definitely not healthy. So you need to be careful to just remove all the water back out of your carpet. So now I'm gonna walk you through how I removed some slime from my carpet sample. That slime got really stuck in there. It's definitely hard and gooey in there. So I'm using some warm water and a washcloth just to try to soak some water into the slime, but it was really stuck in the top of the carpet. I was trying to avoid pouring too much water on it because I know how the water can just get down in the carpet and the pad. So I was trying to do it from the top as much as possible with the washcloth. You can see it's starting to loosen up a little bit after I soaked the water into the top of the slime. Just trying to break it up a little bit so the water can get in there. I 
did pour a little more on there because it didn't seem to be breaking up quite yet. Then I did bring in a paddle of water. This is very hot, but not boiling. That really helped a lot. The temperature of the water seems to make a really big difference in how well it breaks up the slime. As you can see, it's really starting to come out now. At this point, it was mostly just a process of getting those last bits of slime out and then soaking the water back up so it didn't get stuck in the carpet. I was hoping to avoid using a brush, but it seemed like there was no way I was gonna get the slime out of there without bringing out a brush. It was really just stuck in those tops of the fibers. The reason you are supposed to avoid using a brush too much on carpet is because it can grind in a stain. But since I had pulled out a good amount of the slime before I used the brush, I think it was fine in this case. Now it's just a challenge of getting those tiny little bits left out of there. a little bit more of the hot water just to get those final little bits out. Then I use the towel to press out as much water as I can. It's so important to get water back out of carpet when you're cleaning it because you don't want mold forming in there. Then I pulled out a fresh towel to try to soak up as much water as I could using each side of it. And then I did use my carpet cleaner on here to suck up as much as I could. This little portable carpet cleaner is so useful. I think every family needs to have something like this around. But if you don't have a carpet cleaner, no problem. You can just use a fluffy towel, lay it down, and put something heavy on it, and let it sit for maybe an hour or so so that towel can soak up all the water. So as you saw, my carpet came out just fine using nothing but hot water. If you do find that there's a bit of a dye stain in your carpet after you got the slime up, one of the most commonly recommended things is diluted vinegar. That will work on most dye stains on carpet, but be aware that for red food dye, ammonia is recommended over vinegar. Another thing that can be used for removing dye from carpet is actually borax, one of the ingredients in the slime itself. And I think because the borax is in the slime, the dye is already maybe a little bit deactivated and less likely to stain the carpet to begin with. So you're probably in luck. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.